Yes guys, it's your boy Trey Rivet and I'm back with another quarantine home workout. I hope you're all coping with life indoors and you haven't gone completely insane. So today's workout will be upper body focused. We'll be looking at working all the major muscle groups above the waist. You won't need much equipment. All you'll need is a resistance band or a dumbbell. If you don't have either of those, you could probably just use like a handbag or a duffel bag and just stick some books in there for additional resistance. You'll also need an elevated surface. A dining chair or a coffee table will do the trick. Right, I hope you're all set. Let's get to it. Right guys, we're gonna start with a nice upper body warm up just to get all our upper body muscles moving and mobilized, okay? We're just gonna start with some crucifixes. Just open your arms out wide big chest and just squeezing your shoulder blades together at the back. Nice and simple as so. From here we're just going to go into rotate at the hips and then reach through, okay? Nice and simple here. Just twist at the hips and push through. Twist at the hips, push through. Twist at the hips and then push through. You're gonna to come to the end of your exercise, man. We're gonna go into an inchworm with a press up at the bottom. So, walk out with our hands down to the bottom and press, and then get ourselves up. And again. We're gonna stay down the bottom now, into our plank position and we're just gonna do some commando press up. So on our hands, and then back down to our elbows. Up onto the hands, and then back down to the elbows. Keeping our core tight, and minimizing any rocking at the hips. Good stuff. And then to finish off, we're gonna go for the downward job. So, in a high press up position, you're just gonna stick your bottom in the air, and then hold. Five, four, three, two, one. If you can, just slide yourself through and then back up again. Five, four, three, two, one. Slide yourself through. Good. Hopefully, now your arms, your chest, and hopefully your back are just nice and mobilized nice and warm. Right, I'm gonna explain the workout now for you guys and then we'll get into it. Right, so I'll split up the workout into two parts. Each part's gonna have four exercises with a certain amount of reps to complete, okay? You're gonna complete them one by one and then once you get to the bottom, you'll have a minute and a half rest and then we'll go through again. We'll have two sets per part, okay? The first exercise is a standard press up, all right? So you're gonna get yourself down, and bring yourself nice and low to the ground and then push up, making sure our hips and our core is tight, hips are in line. If you struggle with full ones, I'm happy for you to do medium ones. Down onto your knees and press, and press, and press. Your next exercise is a bent over row. So this is where you get your band or your dumbbells or your handbag if that's what you opted for. Step inside your band, turn it into a handle. Make sure your back's nice and flat. What we don't want is our back curve, so make sure our back's nice and flat. And all we're doing here is we're just rowing, 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 rowing. As so, your next exercise is a reverse crunch. So, on your back, we're gonna start down the bottom. Ugh. Up we go, crunch up, and then back down. Crunch up, back down, crunch up, back down. And of course, to finish up, this is where we get our elevated surface into tricep dips. So palms on the end of your surface, legs can be straight, this is the harder option. Legs closer to the, uh, legs bent will be easier. I'm gonna go for legs straight and then we're just gonna dip down and press up, dip down, press up, dip down. 
and press up. Super simple. So, for each of those exercises, for each of those exercises, I'm looking for 15 reps each, okay? Once you've done all 15, you'll have a minute and a half rest, and then we'll go through again to make that two sets. So start with the press ups, 15 reps. Ready? Threes, twos, ones, away we go. That's my 15 done. Straight into those bent over rows. So again, I'm gonna get into the band. If you've got your dumbbells, just make sure your back's straight and the dumbbells are just hanging in front. Ready? 15. Let's go. Boom, bent over rows completed. Time for those reverse crunches, so down onto the ground. 15, let's do it. Boom, 15. Finish off into those tricep dips. Threes, twos, ones. There we go, minute and a half rest. Woo. So the reason I've given you quite a lot of rest time is because that when you're doing a lot of resistance work, you need to give your muscles time to recover. Otherwise they'll burn out and you won't be able to complete. <laughs> Sorry, you won't be able to consistently produce the same work intensity that you are doing. So, minute and a half rest. Enough time to let them recover, enough time to get you back in and give another good effort, another good set. So, let me know how you do, how you got on. Again with the press ups, make sure core's tight, hips are in line, coming down, we want the whole body to come down, not just bobbing our heads or dipping our heads. We've got bent over row, it's important to keep our back straight. Make sure we're hinging over, nice straight arms, again our elbows behind us. Those reverse crunches, get your toes in the air and then get them out. Up in the air and then get them out. And of course the tricep dips. Palms on the bench, hands facing forward, dipping down and then pushing up. Right, we're almost there. We've got another 15 seconds and then we're back in. This is the second set and the final set. And then we'll go into part B. Right, 10 seconds left. Right, let's get set. Press ups in three, two, one.
bent over rows. Foot in, make a handle, nice straight back, and then we rope. Up now, finish off with the tricep dips onto your surface, legs straight. If they were bent before, challenge yourself, get them longer. Let's go. Sets complete. Grab some fluid if needed. Oh, hopefully, it should all be okay. How are we doing? Still with me? Still good? Arms all right? Lovely work. <clears throat> right. Ooh. So, part B now. Same again, four exercises, two sets. Each exercise on this time will be 12 reps, okay? So, if you've got an alternative weight, maybe a lighter one, this will probably be the best time to use it because a lot of these exercises require um, a lighter weight. So I'm gonna use a lighter resistance band for these exercises. The first one is a shoulder press. Oh, first one is a shoulder press. So I'm gonna step in inside the band again. Get my arms inside, palms facing away and then press them above my head, as so. Press up, just above the head, nice and easy. Next exercise, we're staying in, upright row. Keeping, I go for a nice, relatively shoulder of part stance with my legs, and all I'm doing is pulling the band up, keeping my elbows above the band at all times. I want the band nice and close to my chest as well. Third one, down on the floor to our core. Remember the commando press ups we've done in the warm up. Elbows to hands, elbows to hands. So, start in your plank position. And then from here we just go onto our hands. Back down, onto our hands, and then back down. Super simple. And then to finish up, we've got our bicep curls. We stand in again for the final time. Oh, get our hands on the inside side on and all we're doing is curling keeping our elbows fixed making sure we're not swinging we're not swinging all good well done then right we'll get going in about 10 seconds from now starting with that shoulder press if you've got dumbbells it's just standard shoulder press above the head okay ready 12 reps each let's go That's my 
12 into upright row now. Pull up. Nice burn on the shoulders, you should be feeling at the moment. Back into those commandos. 12 of these. If you can try and alternate which hand you're pressing up on. So push up on my right, back down, push up on my left, back down, push up on my right. away pressing in the air pressing in the air up right row right. elbows need to stay above the weight or the band nice high elbows should be working top of our shoulder here on mid delts along the sides now commando press in our plank position core nice and tight pressing up trying to alternate arms so six presses up each arm and finish off with your standard traditional bicep, bicep curls. Again, if you're using a dumbbell, I don't mind which variation you pick. We're just gonna go for 12 reps. Lovely stuff. Okay, approaching the last 20, 20 seconds from now, and then we're back in for the final set. Get myself set. finish on the biceps. And 12. 
Lovely work. Boosh. Well done, good stuff. Nice little upper body workout there. Again, got loads of good movements in there. Got our presses, got our rows, shoulder work, even some little bit of abs going as well. Superb stuff. Right, just gonna finish off with a little cool down as always, and then we'll get into it. Let's take yourself to your mat, create some room. Take yourself to your mat. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is go into those inchworms. So walk yourself out, get to the bottom. Press down, and up, down, and up, down, and up. From here, just looking over your left shoulder, twisting at the hips, and then look over your right shoulder. From here, we're gonna go into a downward dog. Chest down and push up. And slide ourselves through. Chest down and back up with that downward dog. And slide yourself through. Super well. We're gonna get our foot on the outside of our hands. Back knee can drop to the ground. Left arm opens out three times. One, two, and then three. And repeat on the other side. Back knee can drop. And then three. Back onto all fours for your cat cows. Just working our spine. Doing this for the next 10, nine, eight, sevens, six, fives, fours, three, two, and then one into your bird dogs, or some people like to call them supermans. Right arm goes forward, left leg goes back, alternate sides, we want six in total. So that's two, second one I'm on now. Number three. Number four. Number five. And then number six. I'm just gonna finish off into your child's pose, sitting on your heels, reaching out nice and long, getting your hips as low as you can, stretching out those lats. Hold for three, two, one. I'm gonna creep over to your left hand side. This should now, you should now be feeling a stretch in your right side of your body. And hold it again for three, two, one. We're gonna do the same one to the other side, stretching over to our left. I'm switching over to our right, sorry, feeling it in our left. And again, holding it for three, for two, and for one. Super work. Well done guys, you absolutely smashed it today and you all worked really hard. Please don't leave without giving me some love, so make sure you give me those thumbs up. And if you enjoyed today's workout and you wanna see more, please subscribe to my channel. And again, more workouts will follow. But other than that, stay safe, stay at home. Well done. See you later.